Hey guys, what I got here is a, uh, it's a fancy little uh, fluid evacuator. Uh, runs off the, uh, runs off uh, compressed air. I think it's called a Ventura, Ventura suction. But uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm doing a two part video here, so uh, I don't bore you to tears on uh, how to flush your, uh, how to flush your power steering fluid. Uh, I'm also doing a uh, power steering hose, so I'm going to split these up in two separate videos so uh, you don't have to be bored out of your tears. But what I'm doing is uh, I'm sucking, uh, I'm going to suck the fluid out of this, uh, the power steering fluid out of this reservoir. And then I'll take this hose off right here. It's uh, the return line hose. And I'm going to cap this. I'm going to find something to cap that end. And uh, when I'm going to add fresh fluid, and then I'm going to run the old fluid out of this line right here, where I have my fingers. So we're going to suck the fluid out. Got my hose in the reservoir here, and then I'm just going to pull the trigger and fill the. So that's how much fluid I got out of the reservoir. And you also want to do that so uh, when you uh, do take the power steering line off, it won't continue to drip, drip, drip and leak out on your uh, on your floor. I'm gonna take this, uh, this is the return line here. This is the return and this is the suction line down at the bottom. Let me give you a shot of the suction line. It's the fatter, it's the fatter one. You want to leave that hooked up, the suction line. So all I'm doing is taking the return line off. And I'm gonna look for something because I, I, I am gonna bleed the system out. You should always bleed the system out anytime you uh, change a part on the power steering pump. And all I'm using here is uh, some PB blaster. What I'm gonna do is anytime you have a hose that you have to take off, you wanna you wanna spray it. Whether it's a uh, power steering hose, a uh, rubber brake hose, a uh, pulling hose, you wanna spray it. That way, uh, it's easier to get off, easier to break off. And don't pull it right. Don't jerk it back. What I do is. I'll twist it. That breaks it loose. And then I'll work it back. I have this. Uh... That way we get. That way that. Uh lubes it up a little bit, slide right off. That's the best way I've found to get hoses off, especially old hoses. Let's see if I can pull that off with my hand. Oh yeah, come right off. Okay, now that I have this hose off right here, I wanna find a cap. And if I can't find a cap or something to cover this uh, reservoir hole up, I'll tape it with some tape because there's no pressure coming out of it. And I'm gonna use this line here to get rid of the old fluid. And I'll, I'll get me a container to where uh, it just uh, runs into it. I may extend the hose a little bit because there are there is pressure coming out of that line there. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you what I got here. I got my uh, line taped off there because that's all i could find was some tape i couldn't find a decent cap to fit over it tightly and uh, there's no okay guys we got it completely topped off but that'll run out uh very quickly hey guys fix it john here what we're doing today is uh, we're flushing the power steering fluid out of the uh, uh reservoir out of the system completely out of the pump and the uh, rack and how we did that was uh, we disconnected the uh, return line that goes to uh, the, res the reservoir. And we're, instead of going to the reservoir, we're running it into this empty bottle. And as it runs out, we'll continue to fill the uh, reservoir up with uh, 
new uh, power steering fluid. I bought five, and, and it's good to do this periodically, maybe once every 30,000 30, miles. Uh, that'll extend the life of your uh, power steering pump what you see here and your uh, rack and pin. All right, guys, what we're doing, we're gonna start the car and uh, flush the system right now. Okay, what what I'll do is, did you see how fast that fluid ran in there? Let's see if, uh, we're just about empty here. So I'll add some more uh, fluid to help flush, uh, continue to flush and keep the air out of the, uh, system you want to fill this reservoir bottle all the way up all right guys watch the old come out of this uh, uh return line and, and what it's doing let me show you real quick you put it in the reservoir bottle it runs through this uh feed line into the pump and then the pump pushes it through the high pressure line that we just uh that i just installed and then it goes around the system and comes back to the uh return line to keep the reservoir uh, full. And it already seems to appear to be cleaner. Try not to let it run dry. I'd let it run dry a little bit there. Uh, if you do that, you'll do damage to your uh, power steering pump. Okay, that fills up pretty quickly. So that time I caught it just before it went dry and that's what you wanna do. So I think I'm gonna just run uh, four bottles through it guys and uh, keep one for, uh, uh, to run the air out of the system. I found that this is the quickest and easiest way to uh, change your fluid. And there again, we're filling it all the way up. Okay, this will be the last time when it runs to dry, I'll put the, uh, I'll put the return line back on it and then top it off. All right, guys, that looks relatively clean. Uh, Another thing uh, we'll want to do is uh, turn the wheel uh, back and forth. I got it lower than the uh, return so it wouldn't come out. If you don't do that, you'll really have to be quick. So we're pushing the return line back on the reservoir. And it's not an awful hard job. Just push it on there. We'll return our uh, our clamp. Top it off again. So now what we're doing now is uh, we're going to start the vehicle and turn the wheel back and forth. And what that does is that. Uh, that gets any air out of the uh, rack and pinion and uh, uh, fills the system completely full. So we may have got a little air in it. Go ahead and turn the wheel. guys i hope this power steering fluid flush uh, helped you if it did like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up thanks for watching